Seek the Truth Paranormal Investigations. This house used to be right here. Yep. And when he went to uh, fill out the uh, paperwork for the uh, for the city, uh, forget what they were going to call it, but he put his name on the wrong line. And so when the city got his name, it was Reki, <laughs> his last name. There's a little bit of Indiana legend that goes with that one. Um, along the line of the wife killed her husband along with the lover and that's who's there and then I believe there's a child there that she lost out of out of marriage to the um, lover. They're like the dowsing rod back towards the back because the gentleman back there has talked to us quite a bit. One of the first groups that we brought down here come to find out the guy was actually related to him. And so he did a lot of genealogy research and everything. He ended up being some like great great uncle or something. And he was very very talkative to this gentleman. I, I turned my dog and rock over to him. And uh, him and his wife both got a lot of responses. You'll see around this area, you'll see like triangle markers along the road, and that they're uh, markers for a survey. And uh, they they put on the roads and they always use them. Back here, there's a tree <laughs> that they still use for <coughs> surveys, just like the the marker. Mm -hmm. This has been here ever since the cemetery's been here. It was actually struck by lightning, and the one of the mm -hmm. limbs went down into the ground and is actually growing okay. back okay. out okay. of the ground from where it was uh, <laughs> in there. But this is this is on all the surveyors' charts. This, yeah. this tree right here. Yeah, broke, went into the ground and continued growing. You get a lot of activity back in here. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, if you remember right, these are some of the older ones. Yes. Because James was buried at the back. And when you hold these, you got to make sure that no part of your hand is going to keep the rod I know both of these from help. turning. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. If your arms start feeling heavy or something comes over you, just say, I'll be back, and you just drop them. Okay, whoever's going to do and try them, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Um, some people hold them out. They hold them some distance from their body, so there's no chance. Some people only use half readings where they'll hold their hands, no, hold yeah. their hands this way. You have to make sure that they're even. <coughs> you got to keep them, you know, as balanced as you can. I'm one. I hold them out. And sometimes, oops, my thumb is in the way. Sometimes when you when you start them, they got to clear themselves, and they will go absolutely. <laughs> them up. There we go. And the first thing you need to do. It's so weird because you can tell that. They're just moving by themselves. Not, you, you will them. fill there a pull on them when they when they pick up. Um, you need to introduce yourself. You know, my name is Janet. They know who I am. And you got to try to keep the tip up. That's the hardest thing because your arms will get tired just from doing that. You mm -hmm. think they weigh nothing, but your arms will get tired. You introduce yourself, and then you ask it, <laughs> can you show me what you would like to use for yes? Oops, my arms in the way again. I'm having neck pain, so this is kind of hard for me. Show me what you'd like to use for yes, please. As I say, they usually will cross. That's no the normal. Show me what you would like to use for no, please. Those are, the typical, those are the typical responses you'll get for yes and no. Mm -hmm. um, you holding them might get something totally different. Mm -hmm. 
They might want to go straight out to the side. They might want to point at you. It's your own body that it will align with, okay? And then wherever you want to start, start there. Introduce yourself. Let me hold your flashlight. Make sure that they will, they will fall free on the bottom and on the top. Okay. And these do glow in the dark. Just... Okay, just introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Stormy. Okay, that's good what I would like to use for yes. What would you like to use for yes? And then no. And what would you like to use for no? You got the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. Can I just ask a question? <laughs> ask like if it's if they're buried here or something. And then you can just start asking questions and remember yes or no questions so it can answer you. My card's full. I'm still running. Are you buried here? You'll need to ask them. Yeah, you. Are oh. you buried here? That's a no. Okay. Wow, that one's going crazy. They might have a relative <coughs> that's buried here. They might Are you point the area? Ask it. Ask if they're pointing to a specific grave. Is there a certain place you're pointing to, like towards a road? Oh my god, I felt that move. <laughs> 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 male or female? Oh, <laughs> looks like it answered you. <laughs> I know. Oh my god, That's I because I'm backing that. up. Because oh my gosh. Can I'm you feel it moving feet. it? Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, I felt it move. My hand, my right hand jerked. If you're a male, use the for yes, I can see it and if jerking you're a female, it. Use can you the see that, Mark? No. I'm trying to pick it up, but it's hard to pick these up. And I think this light's going dead. But I will tell you, it does look like it's being yeah, it looks pulled like it's more pulling than it's. It. Yeah, looks like it's being pulled more than it's just rolling. Try to hold them level. They'll, they'll flow better that way. I think I'm gonna have to try this. So we don't.
Guys, this is on. I don't know. It wasn't on a second ago. Let me switch it Yeah, off. go ahead and. It should have discharged. Yeah, I was about to say, just go ahead and discharge it. Is. Now look, it's lighting right back up again. It should have discharged. Now watch. I'll. Now watch it. No, that's not going to do it now. See, it just lit back up a minute ago after I touched it. Shut your light out, man. Touched it. That one over there is lighting up too. Where's the uh, K2 meter? Hey, both of them are lighting up, guys. Where's the K2 meter? Right here. Uh, Mark's got it. Oh. Oh. It's spiking a little bit, but I think it's for me moving it. You want to shut your light out? You want to come talk to us? Yeah, you can see the one lit up in this cam. Yeah, I mean, both of them are. We got another device over there that you can make the lights light up on. You want to go next to it and light it up. We've also got another one over there in that hole. footsteps up here that's like the third one I've heard yeah maybe not footsteps but thumbs Let's just let the audio recorder pick that up for a minute. Something in this charger that's going to discharge this. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Alright. You want to make those lights light up again? I'm just lighting up. Oh. Already. Before you even said anything. You, what about this one over here? I want to see the blue light, don't you? Don't you want to see the blue light? That's the stairs. 